So I just wanted to give you a quick update. I did go to the dermatologist yesterday and here is the clip of what happened. Okay guys, I am at my dermatologist appointment right now. I'm actually a couple minutes late, so I'm gonna make this quick. Um, they are going to, I think, from what I remember last time, they're going to uh, get a blood sample and test my blood to make sure my kidneys are okay from taking the spironolactone and she's going to check my skin and let me know what she thinks and if I need to go on something else or if she has any topicals or anything like that. So I don't think I'll be able to record in there, but if I can, I will. I honestly don't think I can, but I will definitely update you guys after the appointment and let you know what she says. Okay guys, I'm actually on my phone right now and I'm just sitting in the doctor's office waiting. Looks good. So we'll see what she has to say. All right, you guys, I just got out of my dermatologist appointment and um, so she said that my skin's looking better and she asked me how things were going and what my side effects were, anything like that. And because I am getting married and I told her in one month and I told her that that was my goal, um, is to have clear skin by then. She said, suggested going on an antibiotic, which I'm sure some of you have heard of, a uh, deoxycycline, I believe is what it's called. And I told her that I'm a little nervous to start another medication since I'm already taking spironolactone and Lysina, the birth control, and then adding a third one on top of that. I didn't know how I felt about that, especially, um, because the wedding is just a month away and I didn't want some sort of purge before the wedding. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'll, I'll think about it over the next couple days and see if I want to start it. And she did say that it does make some people's stomachs hurt. Have any of you that have taken deoxycycline noticed that? What are your side effects? What do you recommend? What are your experiences on that? Um, and then she also said suggested starting a retin-a cream which some of you have in the comments below mentioned starting that she did say that usually it does dry your skin out which is another thing that I'm scared of happening because I do get dry skin and um, getting dry skin before my wedding would be a little uh, kind of a feat I don't I don't know if I want to do that. So she gave me all these little samples of this different one and it's, um, she said it's like a better version of Retin-A uh, and it helps anti-aging and scars and everything like that, but it's more expensive and it doesn't dry your skin out. It's a completely different type formula, but it's called Altrino, Altrino. So I, she said to use this at nighttime and it's actually going to replace my nighttime moisturizer. Um, and then to give her a call a week before and she's going to, or about 10 days before my wedding and she's going to put me on um, a, an anti-inflammatory medication called pro, progester, I don't, I don't remember what it's called. I'll have to look, but um, that'll just bring down the initial redness and that's basically just a band-aid she said but for my event it'll bring down any inflammation and redness immediately so that'll be good if I have any like cystic breakouts or anything that are super hard to cover with makeup so let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of my appointment today and do you guys have any experience with retin-a and deoxycycline um have any of you taken spironolactone with either of those um i'm not again i'm not quite sure if i should start the the deoxycycline along with um spironolactone and birth control and honestly i really don't want to add another pill to take but it's all in the name of getting clear skin, right? So she did say to check in with her um, after the wedding. I'm actually going on a cruise at in September, the beginning of September. And she said to check in after that to see if I want to start Accutane and to see where my skin is at. So we will see how it goes. Okay, so as you all saw, she did want to prescribe me an antibiotic. 
I didn't take it. She said that I can call her at any time and get on that and get my prescription filled if I wanted to. Um, I don't know if I want to do that. I did want to get some people's opinions first. So if any of you have taken the deoxycycline, please, please comment down below and let me know what you think. And this is not going to replace my weekly update. This is actually future me. Um, as I've stated before, I think in some of the comments, my skin updates are actually two weeks behind my real life. And the reason I did that is because I have some upcoming trips and the wedding and things. And I wanted to make sure that I was still posting an update for you guys. So I've really been taking spironolactone for I believe 13 weeks now. And I'm only on, I'll be releasing my 11 week update on Monday. All right, so I just wanted to update you guys on how my dermatologist appointment went. I didn't want to wait two weeks to do this just because it makes more sense if I get your opinions now instead of wait two weeks for the deoxycycline and I just wanted to let you guys know where I'm at in this moment. Anyway, I will see you in the next video and in the next skin update and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Bye!